Hey guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to the finale. <laughs> so you guys, me, I don't want to do this, I really don't, but I was like, you know what, hey, it's Sunday, I don't really have anything to do until next Sunday, um, let me go ahead and do this now. I don't want to watch this. It'll be okay! It's not going to be okay, it's the last episodes ever. It'll be okay! No, it, it'll never be okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, but it'll never be okay. I love you! I love you too. Okay, so something also really weird happened. I was trying to post um, a tweet link to last week's episode, so and it didn't work for some weird reason. I don't know why. So I'm going to repost that in this video with the other tweet that I'm going to post once I finish all three of these episodes to see how in the world this show ends. And I just feel like the show, the ending is possibly not going to make me happy. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> That's all I can really see. But I think, I don't want to do this. I don't want to say goodbye worry. to these characters. Be happy. No, I can't be happy right now, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go ahead and start with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1. It didn't even play. Oh, my God. It did record. No, it did record, but it's just playing it. Oh, my God. All right. Episode 11 for real this time in three, two, one, go. So, okay. How do I? The woman in the white is Shemha, right? She has to be. So then who's that? No, oh, sad day, damn. Oh. And you gotta do what you gotta do. But damn, he losing a lot of blood. I mean, he gonna die in it. Oh. Yeah, he, oh! Um, you're you gonna die too. I mean, you, you're losing a lot of blood. So, wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is Enki the guy from episode one? He was doing that itch where he died or something? I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> wait, okay. So now we're, we're showing this. Is the show gonna end like this? Yeah, they're gonna kill Miku. I don't know. I got that feeling. I, you know what? I've been having that feeling ever since people got taken. And I'm just like, they might actually end this show by killing this girl. Like, oh, if, oh my god, if they do that. Bruh, <laughs> I'm gonna be so pissed. Like, come on now. These are the last three episodes. I mean, this show. Needs to have a happy ending for the whole damn series. It would be really unfair if we kill Miku. Because he be cute. You don't want to depress he be cute for the day, for like an ending of a show, do you? I mean, that's like, okay, 
like with We Cross, if any of you have ever watched We Cross, which is a really good series, they ended one season and I was just like, are you, no, the first freaking season, they ended the first season with like this big old cliffhanger, wondering where the heck the best child was, thinking that we all thought she was dead, and I was just like, I'm depressed right now, and uh, like, it was too much, I mean, when I was doing a reaction on that show, I was just like, I can't. I need a better ending. And then season two happened. And you gave me a better ending. That's what I need for this show. I don't want this show to end on a bad ending. And with that opening, it seems like it is. And I'm just like, <laughs> I don't want this. Oh, God, I'm scared. Okay. Mm. Well, you were thinking with your anger. It's okay. Oh. Is this going to guide them to the other girl or something? <clears throat> Figures they would be here too. Huh. Oh, Y'all screw. What else can you do then? Well, then hold up. Okay. Uh, it makes sense for them, but then, okay, uh, never mind. Never mind, because it's right there. Because <laughs> I was about to say, makes no sense to give it to the girl. <laughs> mm hmm. See, I just don't want he to end up killing a girlfriend. I'm sorry, but like with the way this episode started, I got two episodes to find out if this is really going to happen. I swear to God. I really do. I mean, this was the time when this was airing at the same time as Demon Slayer, and we were all freaking out about Demon Slayer, and then you know, I saw the tweet. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. After the, like, what, the week after Demon Slayer and somebody was like, hmm. Like, don't even get me started on Simple Gear. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, something bad must have really happened. Well, we're finally going to have that known in like two episodes. But I'm scared. I don't want to know.
Mm, but that uh, You see, I feel like there's a reason why Subas isn't transforming. Maybe because she feels like she could harm herself or others. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, Miku. I'm sorry. I mean, you poor baby. You got to feel bad for Miku no matter what the heck happens and comes her way. Like, God, this poor child. She's going to die. We are literally going to... She's going to die. I, I don't know. I'm scared. I Oh, I don't want to know at the same time, but she's going to die. I, you just feel it in your heart. Mm -hmm. But be cautious, though. Maria, can you understand that? Okay, there we go.
Well, shit. I mean, I mean, you know what? I gotta say this. Okay, so Shema is a little bit of a worse villain than uh, What's Her Face from, like, SAO. <laughs> I mean, we all know the reason why she did her ish, but, like, oh. What are you doing, dog? Come here. I mean, but wouldn't you think that the only way that they could stop her is by moving that bracelet off of her? So that she, you know, loses her control of Miku, and then Miku can be back to normal. I don't know. I mean, you know, like I said, we got two officers left, and this show can end in any way. I just hate the fact that these are the last few episodes. Like, we ain't even getting no freaking booty or anything for this. Like, I swear to God, this epilogue. <laughs> Please. Don't hurt my heart. I swear to God, like, come on. Don't don't give me a bullshit ending. I really don't want that. I don't like bullshit endings. I despise them more than cliffhangers. <sighs> I swear to God, oh my God. Thank you. Jesus, I swear to God, if she got under that control again. Of course, that would be too fucking evil, right? Of course, she's got to have another BS power. And she, what the, I'm done. I am done. Are you serious, woman? Come on now. One was enough, but two is just stupid. I mean... Well, yeah, also your grandfather, you know, screw him, I'm just saying.
Really? Is that your, I mean, honestly, the meter full power doesn't even seem full power to me. It seems like, what, 25, 50 percent, maybe? Oh, okay, never mind. But you know that didn't stop them. See? <laughs> There is no way that she's going to make it out of there alive. I mean, come on now. BS <laughs> oh my God. Damn, she's even in New York. <laughs> seem like you know okay i can't and i'm sorry to compare this to it okay oh because i can't wait to see what total animation does in the final season <laughs> and they're gonna probably make it into a stupid movie too it, it's a little on par with the ish that happens in the final season to save the moon and how dark the final season save the moon gets because like the last season to save the moon stars manga wise not really Anime, anime wise, it's dark. I would say it's like semi dark, but manga Sailor Moon and this, like, comparing, like, it, it gets dark, like, really, really dark. And I mean, we in the final three episodes, and this it, it has already gotten dark, but it just keeps on going and going and going and going until it's just like, boom, the end. Thank you for watching. I mean, oh god, I don't know what to say about this episode. I mean, the teamwork with. <laughs> to Boss and Maria, and it's it's just amazing as hell, like always. I mean, I loved it. I'm scared to find out what the heck is gonna happen next. I hope to pray to God that within these next two episodes, Miku is able to, you know, take control of her body once again and to stop Shemha from doing what she's doing. But I feel like at the same time, if she does, it's going to be in a sacrificial type of way. I mean, okay, going back to another comparison to Sailor Moon, um, Saturn did that for, uh, freaking when she was controlled by Pharaoh 90, but in the end, like, because of, you know, the reincarnation-ish, because Sailor Saturn is so important in that lore of Sailor Moon, you know, okay, here she comes again as a little kid until, like, freaking stars, she comes back, and then now she's a teenager and stuff, so I don't know, I mean, I feel like if they do kill Miku and Shemha, Miku might come back reincarnated. I mean, I don't know. I don't think they'll, you know, be like, darling. And be like, yeah, no matter how many times those two die, they always come back no matter what. I don't know. But it's just with these last two episodes, I don't think it's going to make or break the show for me. I just think this is maybe going to make me look at season this last, like, few episodes and be like, damn, let me go back and compare, like, the rest of the show and their finale is towards this finale. I mean, this could be the best finale for this show, and at the same time, this could be the worst finale for this show. I mean, this was months ago where, like I said, when Demon Slayer was like, I think it was like a week after Demon Slayer had aired, and the tweet that I had that I screenshotted, because I am going to tweet that tweet <laughs> with the picture in it, um, with the person saying, like, at least you guys are getting a freaking movie for Demon Slayer for Simple Gear fans. Y'all ain't get nothing. So, I mean, I think ever since I saw that tweet for the first time, and I think 
couple weeks later we were starting Sinful Gear or it was in the back of my mind where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna watch it and stuff. But to now be like here and we're being, we're so freaking close to this last few episodes and wondering how in the world this epilogue is gonna go and how it's gonna end for these characters and the trials that they faced from season one up until now have made them all better characters. But the biggest thing that they're challenging is not only Shemra her, uh, herself, but themselves as characters and the things that they have to deal with. But I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm just uh, this is complicated. <laughs> this is so complicated. And it's so, mm, I don't know. I mean, just, uh, I, I'm like, I'm flabbergasted right now. I'm like everything. <laughs> My mood is everywhere. I just, I'm scared. I'm excited, but I'm like, okay, you know what? No, I am 50 50. 50 scared, 50 excited about what the heck is going to happen next week with these girls. But I mean, what if she freaking destroys the earth before the girls can do anything? There's all these what ifs going through my head. Oh my god, this is how I felt with the last, with season three of Attack on Titan. And AKA wondering, oh, no, I can't say that yet. Mm -mm, I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that yet until we get to fall. I think some people know what I'm going to say about Attack on Titan, but it's not like spoiler things. It's just how I personally feel about the show now. I think if you follow me on Twitter, you you kind of already seen that answer. I've had conversations about that with people and they're wondering why I'm not. And I'm like, we'll get there when fall comes. But I mean, it just, with this like last few episodes and how Attack on Titan was, and I'm like, well, what if this happened? What if that happened? That's my mind right now, and honestly, I really don't know anymore. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 12. Okay, episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. I like the fact that they're showing, like, not even showing what happened in the opening song, I mean, ending song play first, because, of course, they're going to leave the opening song for the very last episode, like they always do, but still, like, oh. Don't tell me you're going to go out there and try to defeat her. But you probably have no match against her! Is up about to do. I'm scared. I'm a little concerned at the same time as well because we're sending out my child to defeat this woman. And I mean, unless she went to talk, yeah, I'm scared. That's her Sophia talking right now. Oh my god, release your persona, baby. I figured she would fight one last time. Like, like, but it would have been interesting to see the commander come out and like kick some butt against Shema, even though, in my opinion, he a human.
and children, you can't see the chance. I'm sorry. I think he would have tried. You know it. Damn, Carol, even you're not around for her. I mean, that really says something. When a previous villain named Master of the News, I'm like, I don't know. Ooh. Okay, now get the bracelet. Get the bracelet and just take it off. <laughs> But still, this feels a little too easy, though. Now, people, are you freaking kidding me? No! Oh my god, that's worse than people in Nebraska or here in Florida when a tornado or a hurricane comes! We're gonna be stupid and we're gonna just sit outside for a couple of minutes. Oh, and then we're gonna go in the house and be safe. That couldn't be me. I'm in the house. <laughs> it's like, no. Right? That's great. Oh, damn. She, she messing up the Statue of Liberty. Oh, my God. Mm. The one time that we need these girls, they are freaking stuck on the moon. 
and they ain't getting out yet. <laughs> what can you do? Like, oh my god. I mean, I'm glad that they're showing this because the biggest thing was seeing that in the last few moments of the previous episode. You're wondering, like, okay, how in the world did the Earth just turn red? There's our answer. This is a rainbow. You see what Elsa doesn't want to fight? I mean, oh my god, she precious baby girl. Do you know who she is? Oh my god! Like, she's so fucking cute. Oh my god, man. Mm -mm. I couldn't kill her. Even though, yeah, in the first half of that, the series, like, I am like, Elsa. Even though, you know, because of reasons, but still, I mean, she's redeeming herself in these last, like, two episodes, and she doesn't want to fight! Like, I mean, we can't have another season where the bad guys want to team up with the good guys and be like, hey, let's just go ahead and attack our mortal enemy, which is the main enemy of this damn series, I'm just saying. It would have been so much better, but, I mean, I get it, like, it's okay. Not every villain, and, you know, is gonna agree with the main character. <laughs> It's okay. It happens. Mm. And plus, if Vanessa dies, those two are going to be really upset. Honestly, I was about to say, are they really about to kill him just like that? I'm like, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But, uh, okay. Thank God. Okay. 
Why the heck she got to come in and just Well, dang. Yeah, I mean, she put it in all three of them. She's not going to make it. <laughs> oh. So that's like self defense on it. And of course, he disappears and she comes. Oh my god. No, are you serious? Bruh, I can't. Oh my god, what is this? And how the fuck are y'all gonna go home? How are they getting home? What else? Oh my god, see, this is like the bad ending of this show. Oh my god. We're not even done with this episode. We got like six minutes left. Hmm. They're not going to be, yeah.
Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, because I was about to ask, who is that? And do I need to know who he is? I mean, seems like that's the first time we've seen him. I got you. Man. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. This is going to end in a cliffhanger for the last episode, and I don't want to. Mm-hmm. So, I, knew, I figured that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. No, it's so <laughs> That's not a cliffhanger. I mean, that's just... Mm, mm, freaking gorgeous. Oh, my God. But still, I mean, this is the final-ish. We about to go into the final. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh my god! Please save Miku. I beg you, please. I need y'all to save this child. Please, like, don't end this show. I'm dying. Please. Don't give me the edge that happened in the previous episode. Oh my god! I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh my god, I swear to god, if it does, I am going to be writing some nasty insurance. <laughs> oh my god, I mean, don't, I mean, seriously, you've been pulling my heart ever since episode one of this show. Do not, I beg you, in this last episode, like, rip it to shreds, please. I mean, this season has to kind of be the best season, even though we're not done with it. I mean, 
my god, I can't. It's just so good. I wasn't expecting most of the things in this season to happen. I just... I can't. <laughs> too much. My heart can't take it anymore. But I need a happy ending. I need everything to be okay. I need everything to just be wrapped up into a nice neat bow. Don't piss me off about this ending, please. I don't want anything. I don't want no bullshit coming from this. I just want everything to be solved. The final bad guy to be defeated. Nothing else comes. That's it. I mean, yes, as much as one as some of us, including myself, even though we haven't watched the last episode yet, would like to see a movie for this show. We're not getting anything for this after this. And I, I can now, you know what? No. Here's something else I can instantly compare this to. You know how when everybody was like, hey, Deja, you gonna watch some fake movies? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. One day, one day, one day. Don't know when, but one day. And then I decided, yeah, I want to finally watch them after I went to a, um, no. The, a couple of days before I had to go to a wedding and the day I went to a wedding to watch both movies and I watched both fake movies and then everybody's like <laughs> now you know how it feels to be having two movies and waiting for the third and possibly by the end of this I will now know how simple your fans feel about this last episode because I mean like I said, the only tweet I've seen is the one that came out a week after Demon Slayer had ended and how pissed that person was. But I think this is really going to... I don't know. I might not even be that mad at it. I mean, I'm still... I relatively still consider myself, like, a newish fan because I joined the series after the series was done. And so, I, I don't know. It might piss me off. It, it literally could end anyway. I don't know how it's going to end. I just need it to end with Hibiki and Miku just being together. And, you know, at the end of the day. Because it, it's it's them. It's about them at the end of the goddamn day. No matter what. I mean, they've always been together. And mm, I just want her to be okay. I want them to be okay. I want them to you know, apologize to each other for what has happened, like, several episodes ago, and to just talk it out as friends, but also as a couple, because, I mean, they're a couple, I'm just saying. But still, like, come on. <laughs> Please! <laughs> like, why? I mean, God. Like, oof. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to watch it. I really don't want to watch this last episode, because it's just going to be more and more real that this is the last it. That's it. There's nothing else after this. And it's just like, after this, I'm just starting my next series, because I'm probably going to record that on Wednesday or Friday. I don't know, but like, oh, my heart right now. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. Okay. I'm calm. Hmm. Even if you have to kill him.
Yeah, that's still not going to work. See, now we just went from simple here to grand bellum. Except, you know, Shemha, the only one who got one of them things, and the rest of everybody else got freaking gears. <laughs> we go from one underrated show to another underrated show. Now we're going Kokiyas! What is it? <laughs> oh my god! That's Miku crying on the floor. Now we just went to a Gundam episode. I mean, they're, they're doing everything. Oh my god. I can't get it. Hmm. Take them out after. See, that's just gonna destroy that ship. That's not gonna destroy her. We're only like, what? Dude, that's too easy. Oh my god. Why did you do that? <laughs> That is so mean. That is so mean. Oh, <laughs> but it's smart though. That is so smart. Oh my god. Hold up. Does that mean we're going to be killing Elf?
Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is just getting worse. We're only like seven minutes before this episode. What the fuck is going on? Oh my
Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Emotional, Jesus. Oh, God. What is this? Is this Sora Online 2? No, 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 wait, no, no, no. My bad. Take out the two. Is this the second half of Sora Online? Oh my god. Oh god. Let's go. I'm sorry. We go on the So pretty though, my god. <laughs>
Bruh, I can't. Oh god, oh my god. <laughs> too much, I know. Oh my god, this is really too much for my heart. Oh god, they're not going to make it in time. But we're going back to the season one son now? Oh god. They really end them like that? We we end it right here? Really? Or are we sick? You serious? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Wait, there's two minutes left in this. Is this is how we're hold on? So we ain't that's not even an epilogue. Hold up, wait, 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 wait. Are we seriously ending like this? I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say it's an epilogue, but it would have been nice to see like them. Okay, let's flash forward into the future, maybe a couple of months, a year after all this situation, all this went down, and then we would have been okay, but. Y'all serious? I'm not mad at it. I'm just a little... I wouldn't even say... Uh, like a teeny tiny bit upset about that. But not disappointed. It's still a good ending for it. I mean... But it would have been better to just show like... Okay. Go into the future. To see what it's like with them. Still. Like them being normal again. And not being able to... Since... You know, the gears are no longer useful anymore. They can be normal freaking characters and ish. And you're really good. They're really ending it like this. Oh my God. That's sweet though. But I mean, uh, okay. So final thoughts on this show. I 
for you. We really enjoyed this entire series. I think it was a very good show. I mean, honestly, probably better than, yeah, probably better than Sailor Moon. Honestly, I mean, because, like, Sailor Moon has all, well, no. Crack up is a crack. Okay, thank you. That's what I needed. You, are you, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Why? Why? Are you serious? Are you serious? Who does that? This show. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god. I was ready to see the confession of Miku saying it to her girlfriend. I loved you ever since. <laughs> Relationship. <laughs> you just have to put the imagination to your minds. But okay. I've always liked Car Captain Sakura as like my number one personal because I mean like I got into Sailor and Car at the same time. But um if I had to choose, like, where I would put this show, I honestly would put it as still Car Captain Sakura number one. This would be number two, and then Sailor Moon would be number three. In case of Magical Girls, I mean, I still really don't consider this show as a Magical Girl S show. I think it is still considered in the Magical Girl genre, but it's different. I mean, it ain't like no freaking Magical Girl death game because, to me, in my opinion, that has been used way too much, and I'm like, I need something new to make me fall back in love with Magical Girls and us, because, I mean, it's a little too much sometimes, except, like, with the ish that Yuki Yuna did, like, that's good. Madoka Magica, that was good, too. But then the one other show that I watched, like, I think two years ago, as much as I loved it, I was like, yeah, I think this is where they need to just kill the Magical Girl death game entirety and then, like, just start something else. I mean, Magical Girl Rising Project is also in that good stuff, but, like, Magical Girl site was the one that I was, like, I still loved it, but I was just, like, eh. But this was still good. I just, uh, that ending, that little bit right there, it just would have been so much better if we got to see them finally officially confess to each other and just be like, yeah, we're going to move on together as a couple, even though it's just like, <laughs> like no, you can't see it mm, too easy. Um, in a way, I can kind of see how some people were kind of pissed at this ending and stuff. I mean, it's like how with Darling and... Uh, the day that that last episode came out and I was on Twitter, I was checking Twitter like two or three minutes before I was watching the show because it was downloading and I literally saw how salty people were about the Darling ending and so I kept sitting here for like for a few minutes before I watched the episode I was sitting here wondering why the hell is everybody so pissed off about this ending and then you watch the ending yourself and you're like oh shit like now I kind of understand why everybody is so bitter about this ending but i mean this ending isn't really bad i will say it is better than darlings because i mean the reincarnation bullshit like that but they're okay they're still together and they're moving on together but it still would have been nice to at least have like an a, like an epilogue something or you know a ova just like having one little thing going into a glimpse of the future where they're okay and everything and that miku and Hibiki confess but no, I mean, it's just, it, it's sad. I hate the fact that this is now over. I wish I could just erase my memory and just watch it all over again. But, I mean, I really enjoyed this show for what it was, for the characters, the lore of it. The questions I had wondering going into this show, um, playing the game until, you know, that died here in America and shit. The only thing that I really can do now with that is play the Japanese version um, because, of course, the, that, the superior version has been out 
years before the American version came out because, I mean, I just deleted it off my phone. I stopped playing it months, the day when they said that the terms and everything was going to be like, um, they were taking the game down and stuff. So that was months ago. And I just deleted the game off my phone last night. And it, it's a little surreal because, I, I mean, I was hyped for this game. I was hyped for the anime. And to the fact is that it's over. And I don't think they're going to even want to try to bring it out, bring it back. Because Bushimo, in my opinion, they chose between Simpo Gear and I think it was a Yu-Gi-Oh game or something. And they chose the Yu-Gi-Oh game over Simpo Gear. And so a lot of people think that because they were trying to bring the game to the Western audience and stuff by bringing in the anime and re-airing the anime on Crunchyroll and stuff, even though the show was already done, they were trying to still bring a little more hype into it. I think if they would have done it when the final season was airing, I think it would have lasted a little bit longer, but because of the fact is they decided to, well, really Crunchyroll and everyone, decided to bring it, like, at the beginning of this year and at the time when I was starting it and how there really wasn't as much hype for this show anymore because typically because this is like the reason why I dropped like um the idol show I was doing a reaction on on Fridays and now I've officially like watched the series on my own because of the fact is you have to look at when the year the show started and when the year the show ended and then if you're coming in a couple of months after the show has possibly ended the hype for that show is not as popular as it was in the beginning so you're not gonna see um numbers whether it's view count numbers or numbers of people playing of it going up all the time and so i mean it's sad that the game um died so quickly as you know the game had came out here in america but i mean all we have is the jp version and you you never know really who or if anyone is still really translating that um on like tumblr or even twitter or even on YouTube, because you got to think there's other people who have so many times uh, stuff to do and stuff. But yeah, I really enjoyed this series and I'm sad that it's over and I, I really don't want it to be over. And I hate the fact that I chose Father's Day <laughs> to uh, watch it. But I was like, I have nothing else to do. I've already called my dad and stuff. And I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and get this done today so that I don't have to um, stress myself out by doing some other things plus this and so I'm glad I watched it today but still I mean I wasn't expecting all of this to happen I'm just glad that like it's a happy ending and it, I, I accept it I, I'm, I'm still a little pissed about it but I'm not as pissed as maybe so many other people were when by the time this aired in ish I think if I had to watch this as a reaction series um when it aired I probably would have been a lot more pissed but then at the same time, if I had to just watch this season and this season only, you already know, my, I would have been confused as fuck. So I'm glad that I waited until the show was done. I'm glad that the person who requested this as a Patreon show also waited until the show was done, even though um, one of my close YouTube friends kept like telling me to watch the show and I and eventually when I did a, a live stream with him and a couple other guys I was like yeah it's a Patreon show I was like I gotta watch it after I'm done doing this but I loved it and I'm really happy that you guys joined me on that but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards the entire series of Simple Gear if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons, and next Thursday, I was up to say Monday, next Thursday for everybody else, for the start of my next series, and I can finally go ahead and watch this next series, because I think, as much as I loved watching this, I think this next series that I'm going to watch, um, from what I've looked up, I haven't looked up, like, a lot of big spoiler things, only the opening to the first season, I think I'm really going to like this show, and it's cute. It's really slice of life in a nutshell, and I think, yeah, it's going to be really good, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!